yes, you're going to fail. Expect failure. It's like starting a business. Of course you're going to fail. That is part of the game. But you have to learn how to fail because I'm going to explain this to you. I had big dreams. A lot of us have big dreams, big goals. And when you have goals that are maybe outside your reach, you have to know that getting to that goal, you're going to have a lot of bad days. I know of no better life purpose than to perish in attempting the great and impossible. The fact that something seems impossible shouldn't be a reason to not pursue it. That's exactly what makes it worth pursuing. Where would the courage and greatness be if success was certain and there was no risk? The only true failure is shrinking away from life's challenges. Failure is a wonderful teacher. It's the only way to learn. You have to fail. Failure is a part of the process to becoming successful. Failure is not the opposite of success, it's a part of it. Mm -hmm. Right? Failure is not the opposite of success, it's a part of it. And the reason that I'm saying that is because when it says don't be pushed by your problems, problems are a part of the journey. Opposition are a part of the journey, right? Adversity is a part of the journey. Like it's all a part of development and growth as a person. Every time some new thing comes up, when you have to rise to the occasion, you have to perform, you think about that time you failed and mm. it fucks your head up, man. You think I'm a fucking loser, I can't do this. I'm gonna fail, I'm gonna fuck up. Like that you that you stop doing something versus failing are very two very different things. If you eat a pizza one day, but then the other rest of the week you're fine, did you fail? We just need to strip away the perfection and get to the, like if I directionally move in this way over a long enough period of time, I will get there as long as I don't stop. What would you do, ladies and gentlemen, if you couldn't fail? What would you do if you were in a situation where your mind couldn't comprehend an outcome in which you lost? Who would you become? What would you do? What type of person would be bred from that willpower and that self-belief and that confidence? That's why failure is so important. Like failing and fucking up and making mistakes, it's very important. You, that's how you learn. That's how you, the bad feeling that you get from something that you shouldn't have done or wish you didn't do or wish you did better. Like especially failing at something where you half-assed it and you just feel like a fucking loser. Like that just teaches you. As soon as you do actually start to decide doing something, you fail immediately and say, oh, I guess this isn't for me. I guess success isn't for me. I guess business isn't for me. I guess sales isn't for me. I guess whatever the thing is, isn't for me because you failed once. But it's because we have, a, we have an incorrect view of failure because failure is a necessary part. And the thing is, is you learn from failure. And so it's either you win or you learn. The only place to go from failure is to win. You have to achieve failure. You have to take it that far. Nobody wants to go that far, it's too scary. But you know something, I got news for you. That's where winning is. When you fail, it's a part of the process. Keep going, you're supposed to fail. Shit, who you know that gets it right all the time? That's impossible. You have to fail. Matter of fact, when you fail, be glad about it. Every time you fail, you're one step closer. So I had to teach myself how to fail right. And what that means is, when I fail, I can't spend much time in that fail zone. I have to be able to get up and get after the next day just as fast because my goal is you know, to be a Navy SEAL. I don't have time to stay here and feel bad for myself for weeks and months and years because I'll lose that time. You're not afraid of failing. You're afraid of what other people will think of you if you fail. But if you're afraid of that, imagine what they think of you when you aren't even trying. Oh yeah, they aren't. Like a science experiment, you're going to fail multiple times. It's just part of the equation. And when you understand that failing is simply part of the equation, you no longer hold on to, oh, well, am I going to fail today? Am I going to mess up today? No, you're going to continue leveling up. You can, you're going to continue being in a situation where you show up every single day and give it your all. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. I'll say it again. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. My wife told me this great expression. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. You can't let the past burn you twice. Right, which is like if you failed in the past, if you project that failure into the present, then that that past failure continues to to repeat itself by you not even trying. It's like if we're looking at a kid who's who's walking, right, and they fall, we're not like, I think it's just gonna be a crawler. You know, like we don't we don't say that, right? But like right now you're applying that same like you say so much worse things to yourself when it's like if you failed, so what? It's like it's a it's a process. You're gonna learn to walk and you'll learn to walk eventually as long as you don't stop. So every time you fail, say, whew, got that out the way. Go to the next one. Fail again, okay, I got two out the way. What's gonna happen is if you just keep, keep swinging, you're gonna get a hit. A baseball player, 
gets paid millions and millions of dollars for a 300 batting average. That means out of every 10 times he goes to the plate, he only hits the ball three times. You hungry? You want it? Then get it! Get that shit! Don't let nobody stop you. I went to a homeless shelter to get what I have now. I went to a homeless shelter. I struggled. I went hungry three nights in a row every week. That's why losing in life is so important. Whether it's getting dumped, getting fired, losing a game, lo loss. Those feelings where things didn't work out your way, that's important because it lets you know this is the bad feeling that comes when mm. it goes wrong and you improve and then it makes the good feelings of victory all the better. It's pounds in three months. The first two months or, or first two weeks, it's like I was gaining weight. You know, I would lose a pound, gain two. So I was just failing. I kept failing and kept failing and kept failing. So I had to teach myself how to fail right. See a lot of people reminiscing on one side on their past wins. So they live in ancient glory that nobody really gives a fuck about, or they live in their past failures, which keeps them down because they assume that their past failures dictate their current situation. Michael Jordan, the greatest basketball player in the world, he took 946 game winning shots. 946 times since he was in high school, the ball has been in his hand to take the game-winning shot with no time on the clock. He has only made 146 of those. He has missed over 700 times, but he has made 146. You know what they write about? When you make it. They write about when you make it. So guess what? When you get through failing, 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 all you gotta do is make one. It's dangerous to dwell on past mistakes because people sort of define themselves by the worst moments that they've ever had. And if that's the case, like some people are stuck in high school. You know, they're, they're stuck in failures that they had like when they were first getting jobs and they always think that they're a loser and they, they don't like the feeling of failure so they keep low expectations so that they never have to feel that. You're not gonna score on every shot. Right. Doesn't mean you shouldn't take the shots. Doesn't mean you shouldn't try to, to hit the goal. But part of, part of being able to continue to take shots is to have the strength of character to tolerate the fact that, that in that instance, you weren't on top. You may have failed miserably yesterday, but you come to work, like, be like, man, you just lost everything. How the hell are you just fucking damn motivated? Because this is what it takes. This is what the fuck it takes. If failure was not an option, and you couldn't fail, and money wasn't an obstacle, and money wasn't real, what would you do, who would you become, what would be bred out of that desire for greatness? I don't know about you, but in my book, in my opinion, I can't lose. Because losing is something that is designed for people that quit and for people that fail. I don't fail, I learn. I reevaluate, I analyze, I cross-examine, I fine-tune, I refine my craft. The dumb shit that I've done or the bad mistakes that I've made, they've taught me, you know, you learn. Like, that's why failure is so important. Other than death, all failure is psychological. Other than death, all failure is psychological. Think about that. Just, just, just think about that. This failure, this upset, this, this catastrophe. If you aren't dead, then it's just psychological. You gotta get through failure. It's very important. And you get through it by just picking yourself back up and moving forward and going. But it's hard for a lot of people because they that sting, they never get over it, the, the feeling of failure. When you're in that moment failing mm -hmm. and you have to keep going, what do you say to yourself? What if? A lot of times I'll be in a 200 mile run or something like that, and I'm all jacked up. Body's broken, mind's broken, spirit's broken. I started to say, what if I could pull this off? When I first walked into the Navy SEAL recruiter's office, he looked at me and said, there's only been 35 African Americans in 70 years make it through. You know what I said to myself? What if I can be the 36th? It's the what if I can pull off a fucking miracle? What if? I can become someone that no one thinks I can be. And just that, just me talking about that, I have the hair going up on my arms because it makes me just like, what if?
The point is that you tried, and I'm so happy that you made that first step. Do you know how many people never make the first step and convince themselves that they suck before they even make that first step? And so their dreams die. I'm glad that you chased your dreams, bro. Keep fucking going. All you can do is improve. You can't get worse. Keep going. I have failed far more times than I've succeeded. Far more. You, you will never succeed more than you fail. That's not how it works. You cannot have innovation or progress without failure. It doesn't exist. Um, uh, and if you truly aren't failing as you're trying to innovate, then you're probably not pushing very hard because you haven't broken anything. You're, taking, you're making very, very safe choices. We could never have put a person on the moon without a bunch of rockets blowing up first. I'm obsessed with losing. I fucking love losing. I love losing because I know exactly what you're thinking about my loss and I can't wait to stick it in your fucking face when I come back. I found that most people fail in life, not because they aim too high and miss. Most people fail in life because they aim too low and hit and many don't aim at all. So if you couldn't fail because failure is not an option because failure isn't real, who would you become?